demonstrate how to give um, a subcutaneous injection to a rabbit. Um, specifically, we're going to be doing a penicillin injection, which is not safe to give rabbits by mouth, but it is safe to give them by injection. So I'm going to demonstrate that today. Most people are going to be sent home with a bag that has a label on it uh, with the patient's name and instructions. They're going to have some syringes and some needles and they're gonna have a bottle of penicillin. Um, it's often wrapped like this because it is light sensitive. Um, it does need to go in the refrigerator. So I often recommend taking it out of the fridge a couple minutes early um, so it can warm up just a little bit. These syringes open like so. The needles open like so. They are not threaded, meaning it's not a twist and turn on, it's more like a push, okay? and the needle is now secured to the syringe. I have the uh, benefit of having an assistant here helping me today. If I didn't, we could certainly uh, do this differently by taking the rabbit, um, having like a bunny burrito if I had to do this by myself, so just the back and butt end are sticking out. We could do it on the floor, wedged between my knees. But for now, for this demonstration, we're gonna use um, an assistant to help. So. Hopefully you might have someone at home who can help as well. So the directions tell me that I need to give 0.35 mils under the skin every 24 hours until directed otherwise. So once my um, penicillin has warmed up just a little and I've shaken it, shaken it, shaken it, this is actually a very thick medication. So I really recommend shaking it very, very well. It's not just like a quick one, two and you're done. Really, really get it so that the medication is suspended we try to leave a little window on the bottom, so you should be able to see when, um, when you're shaking it that it is actually clear, so you can kind of see through the white creamy liquid on the bottom when it's upside down. So that's how you know it's not sticking to the bottom and it's mixed properly. So you're gonna take uh, the needle and you're going to, I'm just injecting a little bit of air um, so that the pressure inside the, uh, the um, bottle is, oak, is, is even, and then I'm going to draw back the amount that I need. So I need 0.35 mils, all right? So you can see here it's right between the 0.3 and the 0.4, and I'm just going to pull my needle straight out of the rubber hub. Now you have two choices at this point. I can either directly inject this right into the bunny or I can change the needle. I enjoy changing the needle because even though I only went through one soft rubber tube here, the entrance, it is still um, can dull it a little bit. So I'm going to change the needle. Yes, that does mean you have to buy twice as many needles, but to me, I prefer to do it that way. But you don't have to. It's okay if you don't. Usually it's fine. Um, this is my preference, I am changing the needle. So again, I'm down to the point, point 0.35. I'm going to take off my uh, syringe cap and I'm just gonna make a tent in the skin right between the shoulder blades. Rabbits have all this nice extra skin in here and it really doesn't matter where you go, it's anywhere in this area. I'm gonna make a tent and I'm literally just gonna pop under the skin. Now, how do I know I'm in right now? If I pull back on my syringe, you see how the black part of the, um, of the needle here, this, this bounces back? That's called the negative pressure. That means that I know I am now inside the skin. I am not, I'm not in the air. If it was air, if I went through, I would, it would just draw back air. I'll show you what that would look like in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this injection and I'm gonna pull it straight out. Um, so what I was talking about was, so say I had gone like through the skin and come out the other side, but maybe I couldn't see it because of the fur. When I went to draw back, it would stay put. I'm drawing back, I'm getting air. See how it doesn't bounce back? So that's how you know if you're actually in the right spot under the skin. Now listen, it is not a big deal if you go through the skin, if you squirt the medicine and it spills outside of the rabbit, it's totally okay. Don't stress out, just regroup, start over, draw your medicine up again and, and start over. It's okay, these are small needles, you're not gonna hurt your bunny. Um, 
just take take a deep breath and and give it another try and you'll get the hang of it that's it good luck